Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Kindly consider to like this video. When you like this video, it is a kind of job offer you are doing to our YouTube platform and we will automatically interact with the YouTube community. Please consider to give this video a thumb of like. Some of you are just watching the video, but they don't give this video like. Please, any video you've watched, please give it a thumb of like. I want to take this golden chance to appreciate you so much for your great support that you are really, really offering. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your subscription. And to the new subscribers, welcome to YouTube platform, Zion Kenya TV, home of deep political analysis. And we always also offer some words of advice, uh, of encouragement in this life. Ladies and gentlemen, Allow me to divert into the political news. Now, two days ago, I analyzed Nthika Linturi on the fake fertilizer. Remember that Nthika Linturi is the current cabinet secretary of agriculture. And Kenyans reacted, farmers reacted. In fact, even uh, the court said that this was fake fertilizer. Today, our CS cabinet secretary have come out and dismissed, underline the word dismissed, the fake fertilizer news. He's saying that his administration does not know the term fake fertilizer. And in fact, he's saying, he's now describing it as a substandard one, a substandard, fake, a substandard fertilizer. I know Kenyans have been now stranded. <laughs> Some of them I was just reading the comment and asking, so what is the term substandard and again the fake fertilizer? But in real sense, if you listen to the other news, because of time I won't, I won't allow me to display that clip, you will hear people are saying this fertilizer was fake. This fertilizer was fake. So today he reported to the court to the committee and he represented himself together with the lawyers. Now he's saying that this was fake fertilizer. Let's listen to Ntika Linturi, who now he dismisses this report. Because this clip I'm going to display is the one going to form our analysis today. Producing a fertilizer that has an efficient or plus or minus three of the standard. If the nutrients were below and that was substandard, substandard, not fake. But if there were no nutrients, there were zero, that would be fake. The map of quality we received uh, from the supplier, 51 Capital African Diatomite, uh, through a letter which I received in my office on 12th of March 2022, there was a certification which I will gladly uh, give a copy, which is what we utilized uh, to sign the contract. And even when a sample bag among the consignment in question was opened before the committee and was found to be fake. This is the product that, he, that NCPB has been distributing. The, the, the thousands of metric tons you are talking about are for this product. The bag that is in front of us, chair is not in our subsidy program. I have sent, we have not spent money. I also want to see it, uh, Zainabu, because this is the first time um, I am seeing it. And as the members of parliament grapple to understand the difference between fake and substandard, farmers continue to feel the pinch. Nikafungua mbolea, nikapata kweri ni mawe. Nikajota maji, nikaweka kwa sani, nikamwagilia maji. Sasa ni rangi inatoka lakini mbole yote inapagi ni mawe. Tafazali morutize pesa zetu, alafu tuchue na amu natuleza kupata mbole. This is not the fertilizer that we are distributing within the subsidy program. Kuna wakati wakuchukua hama gunia, kuna wakati wakupanda, kwa hiyo wakati huu wote waliofanya ni sharti serikali hii ya Rais Ruto iweze kuwa lipa. The contradictions did not end there as the CS dismissed statements by Deputy President regarding a shagwa that about 50,000 bags of fertilizer were fake. We have imported over 4 million bags of 
Mustafa Baiza. So only 50,000 we got a crooked supplier. Whatever figures you hear out there from anyone with the content that they deserve, the true position of the number of bags of fertilizer that were the batch that did not meet the standard. Yeah, the standard is 3,000 bags. And I believe you've listened to Ntika Lintuni. You've listened to him. Our LCS coming out and saying that the fertilizer was not fake. I also said, if you recall, that no one will arrest Ntika Linturi. Kama si kusema, niambie tu si kusema. Nilisema vizuri, these are the cartels which are just getting fat in this government, but they don't consider the future of tomorrow. They don't consider how farmers are starving. They don't consider the good productives coming from farmers. They only consider their security, their health, and even mortgage from the government. Period. So we want to find out why do you think Ntika Linturi have dismissed this fake fertilizer information. If I do that, I want to take this golden chance to thank you for your turn out new subscribers for your subscription and uh, thank you very much as i want to say that please consider to like this video and if this might be your first time watching me as i'm kenya tv youtube channel i request you kindly take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel after you subscribe to our channel consider to like this video share it to your friends family and relatives as you give us your opinion let's proceed now, Ntika Linturi is dismissing the fake fertilizer information. Number one, why is he dismissing this fake fertilizer information? Number one, he is protecting his job. Kenya is a country where each and every person believes that even if he or she steals something, taken to court, he or she is saying, not me. That is my first observation. So Ntika Linturi had a case. Kenyans, in fact, said it publicly. The media house said it publicly. And it was confirmed by farmers that this fertilizer was fake. So today, he has changed his tone. He's saying that he doesn't consider, he doesn't know the fake fertilizer by dismissing these fake fertilizer scandals. Then number two, Thika Linturi fears President Ruto because he knows very well Ruto might fire him. In any case, he has been found uh, with this case if it is true. But in truth, uh, but the truth of the matter here is that Fertilizer was fake Because if it was not fake, it couldn't have been taken to the court to be questioned So he have proved himself guilty By dismissing this case He's saying that it, his administration is not recognizing the fake fertilizer Sasa wakulima wenye waletumia hiyo fertilizer prepare for worst harvest unless Mungu ashuke kutoka binguni akuja wasaidie. But why do you think these people are denying this fake fertilizer information? Why do you think? It's because there are some cartels behind the government who are controlling the deep sea system. That is why I used to speak and I will still continue speaking. Character is very much important. Let each and every politician to have a good character. Even the cabinet secretary, even the county government, whether you are coming from Isiolo, whether you are coming from Kisi, whether you are coming from Eldoret, whether you are coming from Kisumu, so on and so on, and coastal region. 
may you have a good let you have a good character which the new generation or the young politician can portray and say that let's portray the character of Ntika Linturi. Let's portray the character of Susanna Kumiche. Let's portray the character of Alia Sancho. And so on and so on. Be a good example to the society we are today. When you speak the truth, let the truth be known to countrywide. And let it be a food which can satisfy each and every Kenyans across the country. So let's let now look at this. The mistakes is now countrywide, but our CS is denying. They are coming with difficult terms. Oh, substandard. Oh, it's G what? But the truth of the matter is that Nthika Linturi knew this fake fertilizer. He knew it very well, but now he's dismissing it because he fears his boss might fire him or he fears embarrassment or some of his cartels cornered the money and gave farmers the fake fertilizers as they sold the fresh fertilizers to the government. Lesson learned. As I end this analysis, that don't trust anybody. Trust yourself. Believe in God that you can. Farmers, you can use cow dung manure to cultivate. And this will provide you with healthy uh, food crop production. Kuna njia mingi ya kusurvive. Ndiyo mana nilisema on previous analysis last month. Unaweza tafuta pesa na njia mingi hamu kuwe mganga pia uyajiri watu ni maisha tu. Yes, let's not pretend in this world. We are not living in Jupiter. We are not living in the sun but on earth. So this is a very bad picture which have been exposed by the current CS of agriculture Thika Linturi. Let's wait and see the reaction which will come from the other side of opposition. Right now we have weak opposition. We know that. From the government, whoever is going to speak. And from farmers, how they are going to react. Meanwhile, what can you say also? Because your opinion are very much essential. As I am eagerly waiting for your opinion. Please give me your opinion at the comment section below. Bye bye. As you hope to meet on another political discussion.